Hello everybody and welcome to Really Big Sky. This is a fun little uh, shooter game, like side-scrolling I guess. I don't know what you call it. Um, top down? I forget. But it's Really Big Sky. It's a really fun game that I was quite surprised by. I had wanted it for a long time even though I really didn't know anything about it. It just sounded interesting based on the name and the the uh, logo picture. On I saw it on a site and I was like, oh that looks kind of neat and I ended up getting it without even knowing anything about it, but it's actually quite good. And I figure I should show you guys. So I, I'm, first off, I'm going to show you how far I currently am. So you get points to upgrade stuff on your ship. You have fires two shots at 45 degrees, fires two shots at 90 degrees, fires a single shot at 180 degrees. I don't know... I think you can only have one ultra at a time. And this one's ultra lets you shoot through enemies. But I don't know what it normally does. But this increases the frequency of the laser reload time, so it lets you fire faster, basically. This one makes you collect the points from a wider distance. This one increases the vortex's damage radius, which I guess a vortex is a spinny attack, I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this game, actually. Um, this increases the size and range of the shield, which you have little shields that spin around you and block stuff. This randomly launches a mine. This increases your speed, which I haven't really upgraded because I don't know how much I need that. Might make it harder to control, actually. This makes a shield around the ship. And this fires two super fast lasers from the wingtips. And I'm having kind of a weird mouse issue. But I think that's just on the... Oh, it's just when I do that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how my ship currently works. Okay, so you can control with either the arrow keys or WASD. Don't know what spacebar does. Apparently it's not available. You uh, left-click to shoot and right-click to do vortex attack or flip to the drill mode, which is very important because you will see uh, planets get in your way. So this is classic mode, the only mode I've played on, actually. So you collect star bits to upgrade. It's a long pace, which means it can last quite a while if you're good. And you don't get perk power-ups. Don't know, I haven't played the other modes. And let's play. So yeah, you move, you're always shooting, but you can stop shooting by holding your left click, and then you let go and it's charged up for a while. You aim with the mouse. There's the random mine. So here's the star bits that I'm collecting. And now I'm in drill mode, and see I can go straight through this planet, and inside planets there will be upgrades that you get by touching. So there we go, and then you switch out of drill mode and kill everything, basically. And we have some giant thing right here. Crap. I don't know how much commentary I'm going to be able to do during this game, just because there is a lot of... Yeah, you... And you get multipliers that stay until you take damage. Oh, I'll get the multiplier over laser speed. Oh no, this part, this is tough. This white stuff keeps growing back, and you basically just have to keep killing it off. It's easier with upgrades, because they hit it randomly on all sides, and the mine really helps. Oh gosh, I'm getting covered up here. Let's just get out of here. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, there's a lot of things in this game, and it's it's random progression. This game has a really good sense of progression, too, because of the upgrades, and every once in a while things go crazy like this. Yeah, there's a whole lot of random level sections, you could say, that get pieced together and you get farther and farther the more you upgrade. And here's a boss thing. So basically you just want to as quickly as possible destroy one of their things. Uh, these things are getting in the way. Um, I think I messed up somehow. I got covered in ice. Uh, I was in drill mode apparently. Yeah, um, this game's pretty crazy. You can see my high score on the top. Now that I've destroyed one of the guns, this is really not too bad. Oh, and every once in a while it comes at you like that. So you have to stay at the back of the level. 
I hope you guys can hear me actually, this game is quite loud. And this is at 20% volume. In my ears, it's just ridiculous. Oh no. Things are going really crazy and oh gosh. And I blew up apparently. Uh, no, I'm not going to upload my score. Next. So then we get a whole bunch of points. See, I, so I could upgrade, you know, these. And have a whole much better stuff. I don't know what this plus co-op thing means. I've never played co-op. I don't know if it means it only works in co-op or if those are the only things that do work in co-op. I have no clue. But yeah, that is what I'm currently at. But for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to do something completely horrible and wipe my data. Uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? I can't do it. Ah, there we go. Wipes classic shop data. Oh, okay, good. So I don't have to wipe my scores. Awesome. Oh, and you have to hold it down, and there we go. Okay, so I just deleted hours of play. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now you get to see the ship that you start out with. Which is the same ship, just with less guns. Basically. So I want to kind of make this into a series. Just a bit of a disclaimer though, I have no idea when this video is going to go live. I'm just recording this because I feel like playing this game. And I figure it'd be nice to have a video series just lying around in case I'm busy. So this thing, I'm recording this on February 12th, I believe. It's a Wednesday. And uh, it could go live in a week, it could go live in a few months, I really don't know. I don't know if you can drill through these things. Let's try. Yes, you can, okay. Yeah, I've forgotten a lot. And there's also, oh, crap. I forgot to show you guys the vortex, and I just did it right before I hit a planet. Oh well. So you can say, let's go again to play the level again, but it's always randomly generated. But either way, it gives you the upgrade screen. So I think to start things off, I will upgrade these two and that one. Strength of the lasers. Frequency of reload time. Okay, strength of the lasers. That was what this one normally is when it's not ultra -ed. Oh, that's a bit strange. I guess if you hit the pixel between each one, it kind of goes crazy. But yeah, um, I'm just going to increase everything by one, I think, to start things off. And now I have extra points. What I really upgraded was strength of the lasers. I think that's probably a good strategy. Um, Contra, single shot, behind you. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. So now we're a whole lot stronger. And also, I'll try to keep these videos around 15 minutes. There's no real goal or anything. This I don't know. I don't think there's any ending to the level. If there is, I've never made it to it. But yeah, I'll just play until I think I've played enough. And oh, I don't know why I switched into that mode. Oh no, drill mode. Yeah, you can. I I usually don't stop shooting, even though it's a good strategy. There's something down there. Um. Oh, some of these guys. Yeah, you see how I'm not collecting the points from as much of a range anymore. What am I hitting? Dodge that. Oh, these things are tough. You want to get in early so you can get as many multipliers as possible, but then you have to get out without dying. Okay, I think we've done as much- oh crap, crap, crap! Get through. Oh man, and that guy down there is being annoying. Oh, oh! Oh yeah, and you go through Nebula sometimes and there's these little bonus things to hit. These little lines. They give you a multiplier and some points. Yeah, there's just so much in this game. And these guns always kill me. 
they didn't that time. And I'm getting some lag. I should have expected that. I've never recorded this game before. Oh, what is this? I forget. Lag, 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 lag. I should probably turn the preview off on my recording, but since I've never recorded this before, I wouldn't be certain that I'm not messing things up. There we go, got some upgrades. What is this thing? Here, let me pause this game. And there. Okay, hopefully that didn't mess up the recording. But that should slightly reduce lag. I don't know, I don't think I want to touch that thing. Now see, because we got all those side and stuff upgrades, this area is going to be a lot easier than it would be otherwise. Without those, these white things can be really tough, because they creep up on you from behind. Okay. So, yeah. What is going on here? Oh, I got a mega weapon, and I killed myself. We lasted 2 minutes and 27 seconds that time. 430 points. Don't upload scores. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe playing in windowed mode is messing with the controls a bit. I could play with a controller, I think. Anyway, I'm going to put everything into coherence. It really helps with bosses and things. And there, we have a little extra points though, which I will put into these three. Yeah. Because those firing more often would be useful. I really don't know why I didn't do more of that the last time. And I guess that's a total bar for, you know, what percentage you got out of every upgrade. Anyway, let's, uh, one more playthrough on this one, I think, unless I die early. And that'll be the end of this first episode. What I'm thinking will happen is that this will go up once my current FTL series ends, so... Assuming I don't do completely terrible on that, probably around March. Oh no, whoa. Yeah, going round is my chumps. Yeah, I like the narrator thing on this too. He repeats things a lot, but it's still it's fun. Hold my bullets, kill. Oh big guy, big guy. Yeah, see, it's taking longer to kill him than it used to because my damage is lower. Oh my gosh, this is so much stuff. Oh no. Oh, I died. Yeah, I'll do one more. That's basically what this game is. I'll do one more. But I got some points, so we can upgrade some things again. There we go. Got all these on the same level now. So our firing rate of those side ones will be much better. Are you sitting comfortably? And neither am I really. I need to upgrade my collection range, actually. That's what I'll do next. I'm doing enough damage for now. But for the next episode, I will upgrade that. And with whatever points I get from here, too. Oh, uh, there's a guy there. Oh, no, one of these things already. Let's, uh, oh, gosh. I can't get to the thing. Crap. Well, that was a waste. Uh, why isn't it dying? Maybe I can vortex attack it. No, that killed me. Um, yeah. Uh, that, now we'll end it here. I'd probably go over on time if I did another one. So, uh, which one is it that increases your collection range? Magnetic oil, star collection range. But I don't know... It says the Vortex, so I don't know if that means only when I'm doing a Vortex attack. Regardless, I will upgrade it that many, just in case. So yeah, this has been uh, really Big Sky. It's a very fun game. I highly recommend it if you at all like this type of game, because I'm not a huge fan of this type of game, but I still found this game to be very addicting. I don't know how many hours I have on it, but yeah, it's great. I think you can see the credits if you hit exit. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll end it here. Uh, we'll be doing an entire series of these, though, so I will see you in future videos. 
And this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.